Rise and shine, baby. Fishermen. Rise and shine, fishermen. Fishermen from all races and creeds and cultures and backgrounds that are from surrounding counties. And cities all over the United States. We'll talk a little bit about uh, our last fishing trip. Spivey and I, Ryan and I, we only caught a few fish. I think we caught four fish. But they were some good fish. But we noticed uh, there's three flatheads and one blue. We noticed the blue we the only blue we caught came on and we we fished about 12 rods only one rod was on a float well the only blue that we caught came on that float came on that float rig and, and ryan made an interesting point he said you know this time of the year they're feeding on mussels what do mussels do when they die off they float so a lot of the blues might be suspended. So trying float rigs might be a good idea. Another good idea is to just free line your baits. Um, this time of year, a lot of people, they have success with grocery store baits. Chicken livers, chicken breast, garlic marinated chicken breast, chicken parts, hot dogs, you know, all of the grocery store baits. And I've even heard of guys taking chicken breast and soaking it in clam juice to replicate the smell of a mussel but uh, you can see in our last couple of videos when we catch a blue we'll, we can shake its belly and you can actually hear those mussels in there rattling so full of mussels ain't it mm -hmm. you can tell what they're feeding you can tell if they're feeding on mussels without killing them and cleaning them and you know opening their bellies up to see you can actually fill them and hear them if you shake their belly but that's all i really wanted to get out there is uh this time of year if you're struggling catching the blues try some float rigs even try free lining you know take your sinkers off your carolina rigs your your santee rigs take your sinkers off take the weight off of it you know you can still cast it just use good pieces good sized pieces of uh cut bait and you can still get that bait out there I mean, worst case scenario if, if you're using small pieces of cut bait and you can't cast it then uh, I'm sure you got some spinning gear. Just put it on spinning gear, and you can uh, man, you can get a you can sling a 16th ounce jig with spinning gear pretty far. So I'm sure even the smallest pieces of cut bait you can still get some distance. Of course, if you're going to be drifting or uh, trolling, you know it's you're going to want to put some weight on it because you're it's going to be dragging up on the top of the water if you don't put any weight if you're if you're moving. I mean, even if you're only trolling you know, 0 0.2, 3, 4 mile an hour, still, with no weight, your bait's going to be up on the surface. So, you know, experiment with some shot weights. Uh, you know, just downsize your sinker. Use the least amount of weight that you can get away with this time of year. You know, well, actually, that goes for any time of the year. You always want to use the least amount of weight that you can get away with. So, try that next time you go fishing during the dog days of summer downsize the weight on everything if you're using two ounce sinkers while anchored then try switching to uh, half ounce I know I realize that uh, a lot of you guys fish the uh, current and you can't do that but I'm really I'm speaking more for the guys that are fishing reservoirs southern reservoirs that's all I wanted to get out there you guys have a good one tight lines and keep on going.